the barnyard is the place to be Full of story fun for you and me Bob and his buddies here to share with you Lots of adventures to tell about, it's true Farmer Bob loves reading stories Yes, sirree And he loves reading stories To all who please So join him and his buddies For so grand a time once you see us, you'll tune in all the time. Come see. Meet me. Much fun. Now done. Read us a book. Come take a look. The barnyard is the place. See you there. Well, good morning, animals. Good morning, Farmer Bob. Good morning, Farmer Bob. Yeah, good morning, Farmer Bob. And how are you doing to you, Farmer Bob? Well, we all feel today. Pretty good. It is a little cold out, though. I'm feeling well, Farmer Bob. A fine day indeed. Perfect weather for a horse. I do declare, Farmer Bob, I have a wonderful beauty sleep. All the wool in the world couldn't keep me warm today. <laughs> I'm not feeling well today, guys. My head hurts. My nose is running. I can sneeze. Sneeze. Achoo! Sneezing. Oh. oh my, Pogoth, that doesn't sound good at all. You know, when it gets cold outside, these colds start to spread. You'll have to stay inside today so we can take really good care of you. What's wrong with Pogoth, Farmer Bob? How do we take care of him? Can we make him better? Well, I wouldn't worry too much, Corky. Colds come and go. People get sick and then the colds go away after a little while. Of course, there are things we can do to help you feel better. Like what, Farmer Bob? Well, I reckon Pogart might need some medicine, but not too much. Only what he needs. You should never take medicine without your parents knowing. I, th I think I'll make Pogart a little chicken soup, too. My grandma always said the chicken soup makes you feel better. <laughs> How did Pogart get sick in the first place, Farmer Bob? Well, now, that's a good question, man. Corky? Was that Corky that said that? No, it was me. Oh, I'm so sorry. How long that was you? Well, what was the question again? How did Pogart get sick in the first place? Oh, yes. Now I remember. Well, you see, people get sick from other people, or animals, as the case may be. And the, the germs start spreading through the air. And they come and like, make you sick. Now, what in the world? A germs! A germs! Well, germs, Pogart, are little itty-bitty creatures that come in your body and make you feel all icky and gooey and sick. Now, you can fight off germs by taking medicine. And as, as I said before, medicine should only be taken with your parents' note. You can also stop germs from spreading by covering your mouth when you sneeze. You hear that, Pogart? What? Where are you sneeze? Yeah. I don't think I want to be around that Pogart. I might get some germs inside of me, and I'll end up sick too. Me too. I don't want to be sick. Sick. Stay away from me, Pogart. No, no, guys. Don't you be talking that way to Pogart. He's my friend. Besides, just a little cold isn't going to hurt you. As long as you watch where Pogart sneezes, you guys should be okay. Watch where he coughs too. Well, guys, you could eat well. You got a good idea there, Shira. Well, eating well is just... Well, anyone have any ideas? <laughs> you have to eat a lot of grains like I do. That's a good point, po Homer. When you eat grains like breads and cereals, it helps fight off the germs. Fruits, veggies, and meats and milk are also good, too. Hey, I have a great idea. Let's make a healthy snack. I sure could use some healthy food. I need to get rid of all those germs. Yeah. Okay, guys, why don't we go to the commercial, then we'll come back with a nice healthy snack for all you kids to make. You guys will need some celery, raisins, apples, and an adult to help you cut. Toothpicks come in handy, too. We'll see you when we get right back.
Shroud your campfires with water. Make sure it's totally wet. Then stir and drown again. Need a week. You count on you to do what's on beach sets. Only you can prevent forest fires. In America, you are not required to offer food to the hungry or shelter to the homeless. There is no ordinance forcing you to visit the lonely. In fact, nowhere in the Constitution does it say you have to provide anything for anybody. Thank you for all you've given. Imagine what more could do. One of the reasons lions roar is to warn threatening bachelor males from other prides to stay away from their young. Here, a lion cub gets a lesson in proper roaring from its father. Teaching this behavior is not just crucial to the pride, but also to the survival of the species. Just a reminder how important it is for fathers to spend time with their children. Here's my nephew, Scruff, about to run into trouble again. Hey, Bobo, where's your video game? In here. Oh, well, look at this. Uh-oh, it's my dad. So you want to hold it? What do I do? If you get my new comic activity book, More Adventures with Scruff, you'll find out what you can do about bullies and guns. And you'll see lots of games. Cool. For your free copy of my new comic activity book, just write Scruff McGruff, Chicago, Illinois, 60652. It help take a bite out of crime. I want it, I want it. Well, welcome back, everybody. As I mentioned, we're going to make a nice, healthy snack. Now, here's what you're going to need. You'll need some apples, celery, raisins, and a toothpick. You need an apple yeah, and a knife to cut it. Of course, you'll have, want to have your parents to help you with that. You can also use a plate. OK, guys, first, you're going to take your toothpick here and you're going to have an apple. Now remember to have your parents cut the apple for, for you because I wouldn't want any hands or paws here getting cut off. Okay, you stick the apple through the, or the toothpick through the apple, I'm sorry, and you add a raisin or two. These are the raisins. Put it on the side. Either side doesn't really matter. There you go. Then you have a nice healthy snack. Yeah, who wants to eat it? Now, I think Pogot should, because he's feeling what's bad. There you go, Pogot. Gee, Pogot. Well, here you go. Well, I'm we glad. make some more snacks. Please. <laughs> okay, guys, I think I got one more snack we can make. Yeah. I call it ants on a log. First, you take a piece of celery, right? Yeah, a little peanut butter. Yeah, and you can put it on any way you want. There you go. And put a little, few little pieces of raisins on there. Make it look like the ants on these lo this log. A nice little snack with ants and logs and celery and peanut butter. Looks good, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, y'all want a bite of this one? Of course oh, I do. Yeah. 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 Yeah, for for oh, my bottle. So one for Pogot. One for Sheila. Homer, yeah. and of course, one for Cork. There you go. How is that? I think I'll have a bite myself. Tastes good, doesn't it, guys? It yeah. really is good. Yeah, Farmer Bob, can we have some more? Well, now, guys, you know too much of a good thing isn't good for you either. But Farmer Bob, I thought these really were healthy. Yeah. Why can't we have some more? Yeah, but, Farmer Bob, why not? Well, I wouldn't want you guys getting all sick like Pogar. Remember, even if it's a good thing, if you eat too much, you can still get sick from it. But what about the healthy ones? Well, guys, I think I have a story that would help. Want to hear a story? Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Farmer Bob. All right, Farmer Bob, about yeah. what? Yeah, all right. Story? Okay. This story is about a little boy who really liked to eat pickles. Now, we all know pickles are healthy for you, 
But as you'll see in the story, too much of a good thing, it just isn't good. Okay, there once was a little boy who really liked pickles. His father worked at the pickle factory, so he was always happy. He ate and ate and ate pickles all day long, and he was happy for a while. One day, he realized that he could eat more pickles than he had, and he wanted more. So he made a fish, or a wish, I'm sorry, fish? He made a wish that he could have pickles flowing out of the refrigerator, out of his closet, and from under his bed. He wished this every night and every day, till one day it came true. For a little bit, he was happy. But as you may know, pickles are particularly stinky, especially old pickles. He was trying to eat so many pickles that made him sick. In fact, he started to turn green. Oh, drat, he said. I wish I hadn't wished for all these pickles. In fact, he wanted nothing to do with pickles for the rest of his life. He would wish this every day and every night, till one day it came true. Then this same little boy lived happily and pickleless ever after. The end. Now, you know, do any of you animals know what the moral of the story is? You will remember that a moral is the meaning behind the story. Oh yeah, Farmer Boss, that's what a moral is. I remember now. Okay, does anybody know what the moral of that story was? Is it that you shouldn't ask for pickles if you already have enough? Is it? No, uh, that's close, but not quite. Anybody else have an idea what it could be? Wait, did he really turn green? Well, I don't know if he really turned green, but he sure got sick. He never wanted to eat pickles the rest of his life. Oh, I was really hoping that he really turned green. It would have been funny. Now, that's not very nice, Homer, but it would have been funny. Now, does anybody know what the moral of the story is? I know what you're saying, Farmer Bob. You're saying that even though the healthy snacks are healthy, too many may not be good enough for us. Well, that's it right there, Pogot. In fact, the shorter version of the moral is, too much of a good thing isn't always good for you. You are one smart little pig there, Pogot. Oh, well, thanks, Farmer Bob. Now, you are pretty smart, too. Thanks. <laughs> well, what about the medicine, Farmer Bob? Isn't that always good for you? Well, no, actually quite the opposite, Homer. Too much medicine can make you even sicker. You see, medicine's not always good for you. You should only take what your doctor or your mom or your daddy say you should. Thanks, Farmer Bob. Yeah, yeah Farmer, Farmer Bob. Bob. Well, now you don't get sick either. Yeah. Okay, guys, now we're going to go to a commercial. And we'll be right back. Rest my bones. Don't you love that safe, free feeling you get in a pickup truck, Larry? Yeah, nothing but you, me, the open road, <laughs> a deer. Yeah! A, a cow! cow. Yeah! The, the village people! The, the village, village people? people. <laughs> you could learn a lot from a dummy. Buckle your safety belt. Especially in pickup trucks. I didn't know the village people were doing a road tour. Where's Michael? National Guard duty. Ah, bet he's just sandbagging. I don't think so. Sure he is. He left us with all the big fires to put out. Over 52% of our military is made up of the National Guard and Reserve. They serve in times of war and in times of disaster. And the jobs they perform are hard enough without you making it harder. Well, let's hope he's ready for some late nights when he gets back. Please support your employees in the National Guard and Reserve. You are 100% unadulterated energy. You have no choice but movement. You aren't acted on. You are action. You have the power to make the world a better place. You already know how to do it. Volunteer now for the American Red Cross. Call your local chapter for details. 20 kids. For one hour a week, you leave your concrete world of flip phones and faxes and talk to 20 kids about how business works. They will question everything. But those 20 kids will talk to 20 more. So by Saturday, what you said on Thursday could be halfway around their world. You get to make a difference. Could just make the rest of your week pretty dull. That's the new JA, teaching kids how business works. Well, 
welcome back, everybody. How you feel now, Pogot? Well, actually, I'm feeling pretty good. Thanks a lot for helping me. Well, Buff, I might still be sick if it weren't for you. Well, Animal, you want... You guys want to open up Farmer Bob's mailbag? Yeah! yeah. All right. Woohoo! Okay, guys, you guys ready to open Farmer Bob's mailbag? Let's get it up. Yeah. Okay, we got two letters today. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, letter number one is from a young man named Zach. He's in, he lives down in Pennsylvania. Everyone know where that is? No. I don't. You don't know where Fe Pennsylvania is? Homer, fill in your friend there. <laughs> well, it's where our farm is. That's right, ah. really in Peters Township. I understand now. Peters Township. Southern side of Pennsylvania, right by Pittsburgh. Southwestern to be exact. That's true. Okay, guys, let's get to the letter. Okay, dear Farmer Bob, I was walking down the street in my town, and I found some tasty-looking things on the street that looked like candy. I was going to eat them, but I didn't because I wasn't sure if it was good or not. Should I have eaten them? My mom says they could have been bad for me. They look just like candy, even better. I think that could have been bad for me, too, but who knows? From Zach. P.S. I love your show. Why, thank you, Zach. Everybody, thanks, Zach. Thank, thank you, Zach. Zach. Thank you, Zach. Okay. Well, first of all, I believe that your mother was right in this situation. You should never eat candy you find on the street. Remember, if you find anything outside, you shouldn't eat it. It could be medicine, drugs, or even poison. Remember, taking medicine you don't need can be worse than getting sick yourself. Right, guys? Yeah, exactly. Right, yeah. Farmer Bob. Especially if it's poison or drugs. It can make you even sicker. Okay, thanks for writing, Zach. Okay, the second letter here is from Wanda. Okay, dear Farmer Bob, can chicken soup really make your colds go away? If it does, is it a medicine? Please tell me, because this has been bothering me. What is your favorite color? How about your favorite food? I love your bomb. It's so pretty. You have the best at show on TV. I'll watch it forever. Love, Wanda. Why, thank you, Wanda. Well, Wanda, first off, I don't really know if chicken soup helps. It sure doesn't hurt. In fact, chicken soup always makes me feel better. And also, let's see. It is not a medicine. Okay. Please tell me because this month it doesn't have to bother you anymore because now you know. Okay, what is your favorite color? Well, my favorite color is red just like my bond here. My favorite food is apples, as you saw before when I was eating them. And my bond, well, yes, I built it myself. Thank you for the kind letter. Okay, guys, why don't we thank our readers out there? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys, I just got to write something real quick. I'll be with you in a minute. Talk about yourselves. How you doing there, Shirt? Hey. I'm pretty good. What's up, Homer? Oh, I'm okay. How are you doing, Corky? I'm pretty good. Homer, are you alright? Yeah, I'm feeling good now. Hey, Farmer Bob, what you writing? Well, you'll see now, guys. I'm done. It says, Farmer Bob, Farmer Bob loves Shira, Homer, Pogart, and Corky. Oh, Farmer Bob, how sweet. Shira loves Farmer Bob, too. Hey, Homer loves Farmer Bob. I love Farmer Bob. Yeah, I love Farmer Bob, too. Well, thank you kindly, guys. I love you guys, too. That says right here in my thing here. Okay, guys, you want to sing a song? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go. If you're happy and you know it eats a fruit. If you're healthy and you know it eats a fruit. If you're healthy and you know it and your body surely shows it. If you're healthy and you know it eats a fruit. If you're healthy and you know it brush your teeth. Bop, bop. If you're healthy and you know it brush your teeth. Bop, bop. If you're healthy and you know it then your body surely shows it. If you're healthy and you know it brush your teeth. Bop, bop. If you're healthy and you know it wash your hands. 
and if you're healthy and you know it, wash your hands. If you're healthy and you know it, then your body surely shows it. If you're healthy and you know it, wash your hands. If you're healthy and you know it, exercise. Moo, moo, moo. If you're healthy and you know it, exercise. Moo. If you're healthy and you know it, then your body surely shows it. If you're healthy and you know it, exercise. Moo, moo. Okay, guys, we'll go to a commercial and we'll be right back. We want to see our children succeed, but setting easy goals for our kids creates the toughest obstacle they'll ever face, because succeeding in the real world isn't easy. Help the effort to raise standards in America's public schools. Call 1-800-96-PROMISE. Are you my friend? Are you really my friend? Then help me fight. Remind me and I'll remind you. Once a year, every year. We can't be afraid. Breast cancer. An exam, a mammogram. We can fight. Breast cancer. Lifetime applauds the fight against breast cancer. Lifetime applauds Cannonsburg General Hospital, a proud sponsor in the fight against breast cancer. It's only a little motor oil. What difference is one drop of paint going to make? This much fertilizer isn't going to pollute anything. You're looking at a sea of excuses, created drop by drop by people like you and me. Our waters can be saved if each of us does their part. Drop by drop. If we all do a little, we can do a lot. Brought to you by the Natural Resources Defense Council, the EPA, and the Ad Councils of the U.S. and Japan. One, two... There's a disease Four, that claims a life five, every 11 minutes. Seven, You're out. One, two, a cancer three, that strikes one four, in every five, eight American six, women. Seven. Breast cancer. But one simple motion can save your life. Fight breast cancer with your bare hands. Call today for a day or evening appointment at the Mammography Center at Cannonsburg General Hospital. Know your results before leaving the private mammography suite. Well, welcome back, everybody. Now, if you guys want to, you kids at home want to write to Farmer Bob, here's the address. Okay, Farmer Bob, care of Mrs. Frick, 264 East McMurray Road, McMurray, PA, 15317. Okay, guys, you want to sing our song again? Yeah! Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah one more time! Okay, All let's right. start us off, Pogot. If you're healthy and you know it, eat some fruit. If you're healthy and you know it, eat some fruit. If you're healthy and you know it, then your body surely shows it. If you're healthy and you know it, eat some fruit. If you're healthy and you know it, brush your teeth. If you're healthy and you know it, brush your teeth. If you're healthy and you know it, then your body surely shows it. If you're healthy and you know it, eat some fruit. There you go. If you're healthy and you know it, wash your hands. If you're healthy and you know it, wash your hands. If you're healthy and you know it, then your body surely shows it. If you're healthy and you know it, wash your hands. If you're healthy and you know it, exercise. Move. If you're healthy and you know it, exercise. Move. If you're healthy and you know it, then your body surely shows it. If you're healthy and you know it, exercise. Move, move, move. Let's go one more time, guys. If you're healthy and you know it, eat some fruit. If you're healthy and you know it, then your body surely shows it. If you're healthy and you know it, eat some fruit. If you're healthy and you know it, brush your teeth. If you're healthy and you know it, brush your teeth. If you're healthy and you know it, brush your teeth. If you're healthy and you know it, then your body surely shows it. If you're healthy and you know it, brush your teeth. Yeah. If you're healthy and you know it, wash your hands. <laughs> if you're healthy and you know it, wash your hands. If you're healthy and you know it, wash your hands. If you're healthy and you know it, exercise. If you're healthy and you know it, exercise. Wave goodbye, guys. If you're healthy and you know it, then your body.